if you're looking for a better alternative to Google Forms to effectively pull data into your Google spreadsheet, then I have the perfect solution for you. I'm Patrick with Univium, and almost all of my clients use Google Sheets in some way, shape, or form. So I'm working with it relatively often. And I had one client in particular with a relatively large team, and they were using Google Forms to, you know, get new data into their spreadsheet. But the way it synced up just didn't work for them. Uh, their team kept using, kept losing the link to that Google form, and it was just kind of disorganized. Um, and then also they just wanted everything on one spreadsheet in general. Uh, that way, you know, for their project tracking, it was just all in one spot. And so the solution here is we ended up building a side uh, sidebar form where they could just enter all of their data uh, from right here on the side. And so it was a real uh, simple, effective, and uh, I guess streamlined solution where, you know, everyone knew to, to look up at the top and it was easy to add in fields. And of course we made, you know, some fields required and, uh, you know, had a lot of uh, custom functionality in terms of managing that data governance. And so uh, it was really great and I'll demonstrate it here in just a second. And I will show you towards the end of this video uh, kind of the, the back end of how to configure this and also uh, where you can get the necessary resources to set this up. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to do a quick uh, demonstration here. I have some, I'm using mock data currently uh, just to get everything in here. And let's just make something up. Uh, let's just say in progress, put a start date. You have a little calendar here you can Adjust that uh, budget. Let's say you can do that. You can add uh, cents if you want, and it's formatted real nice. You can select uh, who it's assigned to, priority, and then you can add a test note here. And then you'll see whenever we add the project, it adds it uh, right up here at the top. Um, and let's see, did I? Yeah. Yeah, I said that name. Uh, and so it's just real nice solution. Uh, that was one of the, the main things that the client I was working with wanted is they wanted the new data to show up at the top rather than at the bottom uh, for their particular use case. And uh, it was just a lot easier to do that with this. Um, and so I'll show you the back end code of how to configure this. And then I'll show you where you can get that, uh, get access to that code and, and all of that. Um, so you'll just go to uh, extensions and app script. Uh, and this is going to be available as a, as a template you can download uh, where you'll get this exact file uh, to look at all of this. Um, and so we have a couple different portions of it. This first mock table generation, this is just the script I use to uh, generate this instructions tab uh, and the mock initial mock data in this uh, table. Then we have the side panel HTML. Uh, and so this side panel HTML is what this, uh, what actually makes up this side panel right here. And so just to kind of show you, sign two. We should see the options in here somewhere. Let's see. Maybe I put that in the other one. Hey, that's good. Uh, we'll kind of show y'all how it looks. Oh. Well, this is good because if you're downloading this, it will uh, be good to know where to find this stuff. And I'm wondering why I don't see this now. Okay, there we go. I had almost forgotten I set this up a while ago and uh, forgot how it worked myself. So there's a hidden settings tab in here, and this is where you can configure the project types, uh, status options, team members, priority levels, and uh, and all of that. And so that's real easy to configure. Uh, and then, of course, it uh, I hid that, right? I didn't delete it. Yeah. 
And then, of course, uh, this HTML pulls that in here, sets up all the drop downs uh, and all of that fun stuff. And then uh, this page right here, the side panel, this just manages uh, this button right here. And it manages, you know, after you click add project, how does the data get inserted and and all of that. And so uh, you probably if you do want to configure this for your own project and you kind of want to switch things up again a bit and uh, adjust it to make it your own, you probably do need just a little bit of uh, app script experience. Uh, so if you are trying to learn app script, I am going to be starting a video series soon uh, just as a beginner tutorial. I'll include a link to that in the description. Um, and then, yeah, so last but not least, uh, I'll show you where you can get this template from. If you go to my website, uh, univium.com slash resources, uh, I have all of the Google uh, sheet templates I put together uh, available here. And so you can purchase it. It's only $5 uh, currently at the time of this video, uh, which is a, a great deal. And you, it'll send you a copy of this uh, and you can just access all the code and, and the file and all of that from there. And so it's, uh, yeah, I'd say it's a pretty good setup. Um, and uh, if you, of course, if you have any questions, leave a comment. And also there's a support email on that link as well. And last but not least, I am a full-time business automation developer. So if you need any help with uh, uh, automation development project, or even if you want me to help configure this setup for you or any other setup, uh, definitely let me know. You can reach me by going to my website, uh, again, univium.com. Uh, just go to the contact page, leave us a message, and uh, we'll reach back out to you. Um, so again, thank you very much, and uh, I hope you find this helpful. Thank you.